Stephen Bradley passed away in 2011 from complications of congenital heart disease, but for four years before his death, Auctioner physicians were able to reduce his symptoms and provide a greater quality of life to Stephen and his family. The four-year-old, she constantly says, Daddy was a silly guy, wasn't he? And um, Thanksgiving time, we had went to Tennessee, and uh, he, we did the zip line, and, and Stephen did the zip line. And I made sure I told Dr. Young and Dr. Shaw and all of them that, you know, if it wasn't for them, he wouldn't have been doing the zip line, having fun with his kids. So I feel like the doctors at Ashner was able to give him good quality of life while he was here to, for his children to have fun memories of their father. And that was one of the true blessings that I had was that my children doesn't remember their father in the hospital, hooked up on tubes. At birth, Stephen Bradley was diagnosed with transposition of the great vessels and a corrective procedure was done to repair his heart. What transposition is, is the valves are backwards. So the side of the heart that pumps into your body, his was actually pumping into his lungs. When he was two, he had had a procedure called the mustard procedure, which they no longer do anymore. It was just a patch. To, and the doctors told his mom, take him home. We don't know how long this is going to last. Cherish every moment. I met him when he was, I guess he was about 20, 28 when I met him, and he was fine. As patients like Stephen, who were treated in the 50s, 60s, and 70s for congenital heart disease, enter adulthood, they can be in danger of being incompletely diagnosed without an understanding of the effects of congenital disease on the adult heart. The Auctioner Adult Congenital Heart Program offers specialized care spearheaded by the dual expertise of both pediatric and adult cardiologists. It has become clear over the last several decades that there's no such thing as a single provider capable of taking care of adults with congenital heart disease. That that expertise is spread across medical disciplines and we know that is, we observe past plans for taking care of people who have grown up with congenital heart disease, that when they fall in the hands of an adult cardiologist trained in the manner typical for the United States, that it would be an unusual thing for that cardiologist to be able to take care of that patient well. This population of congenital heart defects is very, very different in their treatment. The research is very, very different, as well as the surgeries that were done on them are very different. And so the care of these patients require a center that has expertise in this. What we have here is, is a center that's filled with people who understand congenital heart disease and who have been dealing with it their entire careers. And so what we have are adult cardiologists and pediatric cardiologists who work together in an environment with so many specialists who are so dedicated and so willing to help. And that collegial atmosphere that exists here is just wonderful. We came here and they said, no, your pacemaker's on battery backup. And we came in, they prepped us. Dr. Snyder came in, changed out the pacemaker, and changed medicines around, and then he started getting better. I think it's a, a new concept of all these adult congenital patients walking around, and it's a credit to Dr. Oshner and um, those guys who were the pioneers. Following Oshner's rich tradition of groundbreaking cardiovascular treatment, the Adult Congenital Heart Program at Oshner is the only facility of its kind in Louisiana and provides specialized care to a growing population of patients living with congenital heart disease. If we would not have switched from an adult cardiologist over to the adult congenital clinic, I would have lost my husband four years ago. So if there's any adults that have any kind of congenital defects that they might have had to have a repair when they were at a young child or at birth, that they really need to be seeing an adult congenital clinic. Wendy is truly an example of why we love doing what we do for this clinic. We got to see Stephen with his newborn in 2005 and truly get to spend time with his children. And I just feel that to me God doesn't give you more than what you can handle. and. I feel now that he's gone, I can look back and say, God sent me to Oshner and Oshner's 
wonderful physicians and the technology that Ashner has was able to extend four years so where the four-year-old could have the memories of her father. Yeah, Me and Dad. For more information, visit ochsner.org slash congenitalheart.